Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome back. I had to restart the live. Um, we were ready to go, but then I realized that um, I had the live set up for our other channel on Tanya's Prime Time TV, and I had to switch it to over here on the hood table. So that's why I had to start the live over. But thank you for tuning in with us this evening. It's Samantha. It's mm -hmm. Samantha. <laughs> Hi. And I, well, I say it's Samantha, like I'm Samantha. It's Tanya, <laughs> Tanya and Samantha. And we have a guest here. She might not speak because she's shy, but if she happens to tune in, we have my cousin Tiff. <laughs> if she happens to uh, join in she with the live. She's going to be tuning in. She's one of the ones on the side, be all up in and take it over. <laughs> They always do. They don't want to be over here Don't chilling. tell them I'm here. She chilling. She chilling in the cut. But trust and believe, if something hot comes up upon the topic, she'll join in with us. But anyway, everybody, um, please make sure you click the like button on your way in. Hit the like button, please, and thank you very much, very kindly. Here's our uh, chat if you want to follow along. Yeah, I'm going to have them come do something. Just in case you like, want to. Oh, what's the night? Everybody who comments, they comments will show up down there. Yeah, I got it on live chat, too. Yep, yep, yep. So, um, I posted the uh, post over in the Tanya's Prime Time TV. So, hopefully, everybody will come over and join over here. They'll see the post to come over here. But the phone lines are open tonight, you guys. We are going to be taking phone calls. Um, the phone number I put in the chat, and I'll repost it every so often to make sure people are seeing the phone number listed. But it's... 605-475-4075 and the topic tonight we were trying to think about what topics we should talk about today um a lot has been going on on youtube and i've been discussing that a little bit on my other channel but tonight we figured we talk about relationships um so the subject at hand the title which you can see is ladies after a breakup how do you truly know if he wants you back is his actions really true actions or just fronting? So y'all can chime in. If y'all been in a situation, in a scenario where y'all done broke up with a guy, broke up with a girl, we'll even go vice versa on this one. Even if it's a guy and he had a situation with a female and she was trying to get back with him, feel free to chime in. Feel free to call in if you like. The phone lines are open, as I said, and the phone number is listed in the chat. Now, let me see if I can find this. Uh, do, they, do they see y'all and y'all see mm -hmm. them? No, we just see, them. see them. I mean, they, we just they see, see they just see us. I'm tripping. <laughs> but if we did a Google Hangout live, but then, why then we can see them. Because, um, like, see, you type it, like see right here? On there. See how I just typed that right there? Mm -hmm. And um, I put the call in number right there. Just by you talking, though. Yep, and so, like, if you look over when here, When they say like, something, they'll come up on your phone? Uh-uh. If they say something... Hold on. Let me go back to it. Let me see. <laughs> she said, do it to y'all. Yeah, they can if you buy one. What's that camera you need? Oh, I do. I am going to get a camera, and I'm going to give me a tripod and all that kind of <laughs> stuff. Sure. I'm going to be using that camera I'm all the I'm time. I'm going to come probably... But yeah, yeah, come back. And I tell them I call them Monday to do life change. Yeah, I live right. Let me see. Did it I live right around the corner for me. Oh, well, not right around the corner. I live on type. Oh, okay. down there. Hold on, one moment. Yeah, we got three people online, y'all. So feel free to chime in on the subject. I'm trying to pull up this real quick because this is what I read, and I want to know how y'all feel about this. No, I'm just, I'm looking up something else. I'm on the internet. I want to know, too, about, like, they say, do he, what'd you say, tell you? Do he want you or you want him back? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, how some, <clears throat> some people, when they break up with you, then they come back and they, like, okay, they got flowers, they got roses. Mm -hmm. I knew you was going to want to talk up. No, See? Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Don't want be shy. Break, they, when they bring you around their family. They want their family to like you. Then when y'all break up, they want you to break up with the family. And no. hey, you know we don't roll like we that. We ain't breaking up. <laughs> I broke I up with her brother nobody. years ago. 
<laughs> and we like <laughs> I purposely ain't breaking up. And we we close as I don't know what. They want you. I'm gonna bring so and so over here. They want you to like them bad. <laughs> oh, you can tell who the favorite and the fan. They take you to them first. Yeah. Right? Who yep. they care most oh, they, about? They bring them all to me. <laughs> yeah. They bring them all. My brother them. always bring them over there. I be like, uh uh-uh. uh. Then they say, he ain't never said though not to fool nobody but one. Oh, see, because I'm cool. And Are you I the love one me. I'm talking about? No, forget that. Yeah, <laughs> I know. I know I'm cool. Please. I'm just playing. He already Sorry. know. What is this? I'm not one of those. I'm not one of those angry, bitter uh, exes that a man would think would um, try to break up their future relationships or stalk them or you know what I'm saying I'm like he knows I'm not like that now I'm sure he got some exes in his past um, who he probably be like oh no I don't want you hanging around my family no more I don't want you hanging around my friends no more you know stuff like that but shoot he know I'm not messy it's like a clean wash a clean slate after we break up we break up Especially if there's kids involved. When I break up with somebody, you know, normally we just you break up be around the family, regardless. So the kid lead this world after birds. Mm-hmm. We do. Grand kids have kids, and kids have kids, and mm-hmm. there's a tie, especially when the kids are involved. And it's all about the kids. It's all about the kids. But let me read y'all this. I want y'all to tell me how y'all feel. Y'all watching, tell me how you feel. And Sam and Tiff, y'all can tell me how y'all feel about this. This comment, um, I found this on the internet, on in a group. And it said, ladies, you want to believe that a man who doesn't let go of you one who keeps calling, texting, or reaching out after you told him it's over is showing you his true feelings, that he loves you and would hate to lose you. Common sense tells you, now I'm just, this is not my words, I'm just reading what I found. Common sense tells you he would have treated you better if he really wanted you and that all of his feeble attempts are of him reacting to being told he can't have something. That silly little romantic inside of you cancels out this common sense. Not in all women, though. I don't believe that's in all women. But then they said, you want to believe the apology he texts, the tears he brings out when he's on the phone, and the efforts he is now showing is true. Two sides of your mind go to war, and in your confusion, you are looking for someone to say, he won't let you go because it's true love. Go back to him. Give it a shot. You want permission to be basic because that absolves you of your mistakes. And then he doesn't love you he barely even likes you he keeps you in his pocket because insecure men always need someone weaker to rule over to feel better about their own lives he wants the physical he wants the comfort he wants the ability to pick you up and put you down when he's done but he doesn't want you in the all encompassing way a man should really want a woman how y'all feel about that? Y'all find some truth in that? Well, yeah. Um, go, go ahead. ahead. Um, you want to I'll turn the computer? Um, she don't want to be on a live. Okay, well, we'll listen. Go ahead and talk. Well, yeah, because sometimes some men, when they break up with you, they don't realize what they got until it's gone. Mm-hmm. And then some men, break, when you break up with them, they don't want nobody else to have you, so they want to come back. Mm-hmm. But then they want to still treat you the same way. Mm-hmm. So, it's up to <clears throat> it's up to a woman <coughs> to determine how much she want to take or what, how much that she been through with that man that she want to believe what he say is true mm-hmm. or not. Just like the situation I'm in, I know that I gave a person nine years, mm-hmm. but That's a now long time. he think the that he want to come back. But going through the nine years, I did one of them. Why did I get married to you? Bad outweighed the good. Mm-hmm. And then we had a whole lot of more. Oh, bad you know that times. list that they did? Yeah, I like we that. We had a whole lot of bad times more than it is good times. And I, right now, that he know that I'm gone, I'm gone. He's trying his best to come back, but I know that he's not He's not true. He just want to come back because he don't want nobody else mm-hmm. to be with me or to have no relationship with me. Mm-hmm. But at this point in the time, he is gone. 
Mm-hmm. It, it don't been too long. I can't give you another year. Yeah. Can't give you another month because nine years, and if I've been telling you the same thing for nine years and things ain't changed, it ain't gonna get no better. I don't yeah. care how many times you don't mm-hmm. beg. Yeah. It's not gonna get no better, but it's up to a woman to realize her worth. Right? There you go. You gotta realize <laughs> you your got worth. It. And I realize my worth, and I know God did not have me here for a minute to abuse me mentally, sexually, anything. Mm-hmm. So therefore, I have to stand on my worth. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing about us women. A lot of us don't know our worth. We really underestimate ourselves. Like I know so many women. Like me, my cousin, my friends, we good women. We we hardworking. We know how to run a house. Um, we know how to do our part and let the man do his part. But if the man is not trying to do his part, like there's just certain things that men and women should do. Now, I'm not saying like, okay, a woman should always be the one cooking, cleaning, uh, disciplining the kids because men can do that too mm-hmm. and there are some great men out here who can cook they bust off and could clean a house just as well as a woman but what i mean is there are certain situations where you should be like honey you gonna handle that honey you know it's just certain things that a man should automatically um take the responsibility of like okay if you having issues with let's say i don't know the children let's say the children and how a lot of times children or men think that children should be only disciplined by the women. Yeah. I hate that. I really hate that. Well, some like, women don't allow men to discipline their children. Right, I but know, if it's I your man, if, it, if they the I daddy. I know a married couple that was like mm, that. I don't, I don't like that because yes. it makes the woman always feel like the wife they're the bad herself. guy. You know? Some, some, but at the same time, Ooh. some men is not capable. Oh, there's a baby in the house. <laughs> some some men is not dog capable dog. of disciplining kids the right way. And then a lot of times they get it confused because they call them men. Mm-hmm. Some people is men in age, but and they men ain't men in in, in action in, in the mind frame. Right, right. Some of them is men in age are still mama boys. You got that right. Some men you ain't never age, lied. Some men is right, in I'm age and mm-hmm. still want to go out there and have that cake and ice cream and eat the two. Yep, yep. Some men are in age. Mm-hmm. And don't know how to take care and run a home. Right. You so you could That's be a, a man lot of people age, though. Yeah, and, and even with women. Yeah. Yep. You know, you, even though you the sat there, way. you saw it. The women are the same way. But the thing about it is, like who came and she'll say, you can't raise a man. Oh, I love that song you too. You can't raise a man. You can't raise and a then, man. Especially when you get a mama boy. When you get on the mama boys, that's mm-hmm. the hardest one. That dog on butterfly <laughs> loves you. <laughs> when you get a mama boy, those are the hardest ones to deal with. I can't tell you what's going on. Here, we all live up this shoe. Well, that, uh, that song is, you can't raise a man if yeah. the man wasn't yeah. raised right. By yeah, his mama, right is that how it goes? Raised right before you, mm-hmm. yeah, that's how that song goes. And there's a lot of guys out there who they think because they over the age of 18, and they think because they maybe can lay it down, you know, um, that they are a man. But they run around here acting like immature boys. Mm-hmm. And then once they realize what they had, yes, and once it's gone, then they come back. See, she thinks that what? What? Who did you say that was too? That to me, though. Some Congress. people believe that though. That butterflies, like when they see butterflies. I think my, my friend Joe Kim feels the same way. She's like, you know, her mom or somebody really loved butterflies. Yeah. So every time she see one, always around her. I'm sorry, I'm jumping off talking. We talk about these butterflies keep flying around. My auntie, but, she uh, loves butterflies. Yeah, butterflies. Butterflies. they do represent stuff sometimes. I know, I forgot what a purple one meant because I told this lady I was going to get a purple butterfly and mm-hmm. she went all into it, but I am, I'm still going to give me one because I like purple. Purple yeah. and I like butterflies too, but I, I heard I heard that before too. I, different yeah. stuff like people, when they, I mean, stuff that reminds you of them and stuff that they like mm-hmm. that you always remember. But like, um, I wanted to say something about like Go men ahead. and, uh, and, uh, and women. On the phone lines are open, y'all. I posted the phone number, so if y'all want to call in and discuss this topic, please feel free. You said, hey, ladies, I guess you guys are talking about ladies dealing with the breakup. Oh, we talking about vice versa as well. 
vice versa well, as well. We talking about um basically we're talking about how to tell if somebody really truly wants to be back with you or if they just on the rebound. On the rebound, they just don't want you to be with nobody else. They don't you know, hey Maurice, Maurice said purple butterfly is Prince. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Maurice? Thank you, Maurice. But I'm gonna still get one, but I'm trying to figure out where. But um, my thing is about men and women, us period, and not just African American people all across the board. the board. You know, my thing is you can be raised in a household, and you know certain stuff we did, certain stuff we didn't see and we didn't know as kids. But as you got older. And you was coming into being an adult, even though you know, see as a kid that you got older, some parents got to the point where they felt like, you know, it's enough of sweeping things under the rug. Like everybody had, not everybody, but certain people had his uncle. He never came out the room, but when Big Mama left, she left instructions: don't let your friends can come over and play, but don't go back there messing with so and so. So this man might have been like. Or this young, this young person might, he might be still young, but he might not be fully, you know, there upstairs, they used to say, whatever. Yeah, mentally. <clears throat> okay, so he living there, and he could live in the household with mama, his mom and daddy or whatever, but they going off of his mental uh, stage or whatever. So he might not have never been shown how to pay bills. Uh, wash clothes, you know, everybody done everything hand and foot, but then, you know, like they say, once you experience either opening up your Pandora box or somebody getting in there, or you getting in somebody's or whatever, mm -hmm. you gonna want it again, so that's when Big Mama usually laid it on thick, if your little girlfriends came over here, they better not go back there messing with Junior, I'm just gonna say that. Yeah. So now once he gets of age, and he gets out in the world, Okay, now, he might get this first girlfriend, and a lot of times, what everybody used to say, he getting this check, so she ain't nothing but after this check. But she giving him what <coughs> he probably got from somebody else, because you know what? The ones that they always think ain't nobody messing around with, then the ones somebody getting. <laughs> yep. I hate to say it, but it is true. It's, it is true. The ones you be like, who the hell would want? And then be the ones, baby. Trust me, I done had and friends with uncles girls. like that. <laughs> and then he leave home, and he move in with this woman, and then they go over there because they missing that money in that household. And the first thing they do, they want to go over here and get him from old so-and-so's. So now he got to break up with her because he got to go back home, and she know the things that she was getting from him for what she was giving him that Big Mama and them can't give and do for him. Mm -hmm. You know, but... He can still come to her house, but he can't bring that money. Because a lot of times, back in the day, when we was coming up, y'all know if somebody had that aunt or auntie, you know, once that, if, that, if they weren't getting them funds, mm -hmm. whoever was tightening them up, as they used to say, going to stop. Because they, you know, they, they, they ain't just, you know, they figuring that they don't want nobody to know. Yeah. But they need, they, they figure, I'm going to get some of this income that they got. But once they get cut off. Mm hmm this person feels like, okay, that's a breakup to the person that got to go back home or big mom or somebody coming over there getting them or whatever mm -hmm. to this man or woman that they were staying with or the man or woman might have been staying with them at the house. But now this person got to go. So there's a breakup right there. Yeah, and it's, it's kind of like when I said like the, is that's the, like the flip, the reverse of the woman, um, the man trying to get back the woman because it works both ways. A lot of women will break up with a man or he break up with her and because he probably was a good provider yes. and paid all the bills and you know wine and dined her but she still did him dog dirty so she's up there you know um inviting him over trying to get the romantic bubble bath the ro the beautiful you know outfit the lingerie you know trying to you know win him back she really don't want him how many times have y'all seen that she really don't want him, but she wants him to continue paying them bills and paying that cell phone bill and helping by taking care of her kids that's by okay. somebody else. <laughs> what if the thing is, what... You, could, you good, Mark. What do... What do people feel like... 
is how do a person really feel like what is a, a <clears throat> good way knowing that the person you broke up with how what would be a good way that you really know that they are genuine about being back with you because good a lot of men and women feel like they can have their cake and ice cream eat it too mm -hmm. and a lot of them think that the grass is green on the other side until they hop over there and see that that grass is dirty they got weeds over there too and the <laughs> thing about it is when you get to that other side so that's when they have to deal with another woman when they come to another woman i don't want you back yeah, you know what I'm saying because I don't know who she been with. Right. I don't know if y'all been person, using protection. I don't know if that person been mm -hmm. with Tom, Dick, Joe, Harry. And, and guys will tell you, oh yeah, we use protection. And then that. <laughs> so when it comes to uh, me and you not together, we broke up, and we trying to work our differences out. If you ever find somebody else on the rebound that you ever decide that you want to be with, that's it. Because mm -hmm. I don't bring nothing home that don't belong home. Babies and diseases don't belong home. Mm -hmm. But when these men and these women, they get these good men and these women, and they don't know how to treat them. That's you know, when they, they step don't out know the how most. To treat them. Yeah. But then these women get these good men that give them everything in the world and dog them because they don't know how to be a woman. And the man is sad too, and they don't know how to be a True. man because... Is something in their their nature. You got men mm -hmm. that better be homeless than to pay rent at your home. But yeah. then they want to mm -hmm. run your home like they a man. They want to tell your kids how to do things like they a man. Mm -hmm. They want to want you to cook when they get home from work and be a tell man. you who to have and over they or tell not have you over. How to mm -hmm. run things, but then at the end of the day, don't want to pay a damn bill. Mm -hmm. Don't want to go out there and cut the yard. That's what I was saying, don't manly things. Don't, That's don't, what I was getting at. Don't want to have to do what they supposed to do. You can't mm -hmm. ask to be, treat, be treated like a man when you ain't doing what a man's supposed to do. And you can't ask to be treated like a woman if you ain't doing what a woman's supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Sometimes people don't know, but then that's an excuse, too, after so long. Like, after so long, you don't know something. But nowadays, it's too many different ways to figure out something. Mm -hmm. If you don't know how to, if you wanted to be in a relationship and you want to live with somebody, and I tell people all the time, about Google. Don't Google everything, but sometimes it helps. It it, it it it's there, but it's like like don't let Google be your doctor. Right. That's don't what let I'm Google saying. be your Bible. But if you right, don't right, if you, right. if you don't know how to treat that woman and you don't know how to treat that man and if you really love that woman and you really want to love that man, you gonna go find out a way to keep that woman and keep that man. You know something even else? if you have to go ask somebody older in your family right. what is it that I'm doing wrong? Sometimes you know, when you figure out what you doing wrong, like me, I said, you know one thing I know, and I uh, uh, I said about complaining about other people. I have had a year of more than, I mean, I ain't going to say a year, but I have been through a time where I don't even want to hear nobody complain about nothing. nothing. Right. I'm so tired of it, but you know one thing I said when I prayed about it and I asked God, I said, you know what, when they say you ask God, ask God, I said, you know what, if it's them or if it's me, whoever, I don't care. And it's not just it's it's it's, it's life in general. It's nothing, mm -hmm. no, nothing specific. Nobody specific or whatever. But it's life in general. And one thing I said one time when I was in my room, and I told God, I said, you know what? I know it's about time for me, and I know somebody coming. But one thing is, before you send them to me, I want to fix myself. I know me, right. and I know one thing. That's my problem. And I know what to do about it. And I said, what it is, is I know the person that I care about. And I know what causes problems when we're together. Mm -hmm. So the main thing I said for me to do is for I me to, to fix that. Because you have to know. Like, every relationship that we in, it, it, they say it always takes two to tango. And, and it, it's usually never 100% one person why the relationship went sour. It might be one person that done more in a relationship, but a lot of times you have to evaluate what part did you play. Right, and what, no, you know. Yeah, you right, ahead, no, no, no. And one thing, I, and, and this is it, this is true too, like, you know, we quick as humans to blame somebody else, 
But me, yeah, the like, man. I'm so used to always trying to be the one to make things better and, you know, want to solve the problem before it get bigger. So I take a lot of, I have taken a lot of stuff or whatever. Mm-hmm. So now as me as an adult, I said, after my children got grown, I, what I was going to do. I'm going to start back dating and everything and do my do that, mm-hmm. you know. But I, I don't want to go into whoever God sent for me, uh, you know, blaming them because I know me. Or carrying a lot of know, baggage yeah. and letting the person before you, but, you know, because I'm not a hurt with woman. All the baggage. I'm not. I'm how not many hurt. Men and women are real and real. How many men and women are ready and willing to say, I'm sorry. It's my fault. And you got to be able to apologize. And you showed up, baby. That's what a person needs to hear. Yep. Sometimes that is really what a person. Amen. How cousin. many women and men are willing to say, "I'm sorry, I apologize," and be sincere because, about it? Yes, it, it. I'm sorry. If you really love a person, and, and tell them what you're sorry for. Don't just say I'm sorry. Learned. If you really love a person, and you keep telling this person over and over again, "This is what you're doing to hurt me." This is what you're doing to make me cry. This is what you're doing to make me. And that person don't never try to make an effort to change that. Then that person really don't want to be with you. If right. You give a That's person, until you walk. break up with them. you yeah. give a person nine years, you go nine years, nine, I'm speaking on me, nine years telling this person, this is what you're doing. This is why I act like I act. This is why I cry. This is why I treat you like I treat you. This is what make me go into a character that I don't want to be. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And but then I got tired of being that character. Yeah, like, don't take me there. I got tired. <laughs> I got tired of being that character. I got tired of being that one to cry. I got tired of being that one to anger. I got tired mm-hmm. of being that one of sadness. I got tired of being that one thinking I was ugly. Mm-hmm. I got tired of being the one that thinking that I was fat and he wasn't attracted to me. Mm-hmm. I got tired of that because I got two boys that I'm raising of my own and I never want them to feel like that you have to discredit a woman to make you feel better by yourself. Hey, give me so some. therefore, give me some. I had to stand up. Sure. I had to stand up for myself and say, Tiffany, this is your work. Yes, you can this call is in, your work. Please yeah. call in. This is your work. Uh, yeah. And once I realized Tiffany worth, go ahead, Tiff. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. It been a month and a uh, week, and I'm Marcel, done with it. Put that one lamp out here, Kami. Marcel, can it you bring that, a lamp out it ain't here? That bright, but I think it is like this. Thank you. Anyone? The one, not the one we use for the thing for the. Can I some ice? You the other? They blowing the yard. That's, That's what that noise is. Yeah. Sorry, y'all, about that whistling sound in the background. Somebody's blowing their uh, blowing their grass. And they can see stuff here. I'm going to get uh, Willie. I mean, oh, dang, Lord. Dang. Ooh, anybody got a charger, a phone charger? You know what? Never mind. I found it. Never mind. Hold on, Mark. You going to grab the left, sir? Thank you. We trying to hook it up back here because it's gonna get dark in a second. Try to bring some light out here. I'm plugging up the uh, speaker, Mark. Hello? Okay, you can call in, Mark. I got the speaker plugged up and the phone lines on. Are you gonna call in, Mark? You probably can't hear. No, nah, it's still beeping, so that means he ain't called in yet. They say finish, and they always do. They 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 y'all really. But mm. hello.
Hello? Oh, that's me echoing. <laughs> Please enter your pin followed by the pound or hash. He about to come out. Thank you. Hey man, why are you out here doing that? Oh, that thing on the phone? Yeah, come on. I'm wondering how to. Yeah. You want to go to the store? Hello? Oh, yeah, I can, yeah. You want me Hello? to leave my car? Hey. Yeah, cool, yeah. Oh, go grab my wallet. Today. It's on my bed. Hold my on one second, Mark. That stuff out of the freezer right now. Alright. Okay. What's going on, sir? Oh, bacon. Bacon. Oh, sweet. 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 Oh, so five, I was just giving you a half pint. Okay, yeah, Mark. Yeah. What's going on? Hey, it seems like you having a party in the background. Hey, let me tell you, I Man, it's just, this, okay, we was out here and then we was chilling and it was all nice and quiet and peaceful and then somebody started. They, they, they're they finished soon. They keep She'll they, be done they, in a minute. They keep their yard up, so they'll be finished soon. They, they, uh, yeah, she's done. She just unplugged it. They, them people work all the time. Yeah, she just when done. They, okay, they, go ahead, Mark. When they out there, they out there, uh, they get it done. Um, let me say, get ready to say. So, um, I just wanted to call in because I'm, I know this is a lady topic or whatever it is. No, that's a, but, well, it's, um, it's both. It's both. <laughs> I mean, but, um, it's both. You were just speaking, yeah, you were just speaking on something that kind of hit home for me. I think somebody... I was talking in the background and I was hearing them saying, you know, when they continuously apologize to their significant other and mm -hmm. um, when they kept continuing to apologize to their significant other, it's like they're not really listening to what they they that they were saying to them. Yeah, you're talking to my cousin, yeah. I need to get yeah. the last part of it. Yeah. No, I was but I just, I just wanted to... Um, comment on that because I kind of went through the same similar situation. Okay. Um, probably in 2014, I was in a long distance relationship. Okay. Uh huh. Oh, I want to talk and about so, that thing. That's the next thing. Sorry, Mark. Uh -huh. <laughs> that's one of the things I wanted to talk about is long distance relationships. Sure do, because that's okay. <laughs> okay. Sometimes a person long distance um, can keep your heart because you don't see them a lot. Mm hmm. Yeah. But um, I wanted to get to this, so I was flying soon from Tampa, Florida, so maybe a couple of months and I started, you know, dating the person that I was dating at the time, and um, I was, I, you know, while I was dating this person, yeah. I was being treated really badly, and I also stated, I was like, I don't like how you're doing A, B, C, you know, to me, and it's like, it was going out of one ear and coming out the other. Uh -huh. Like, it was just like that person was like, it didn't really care what I had to say. And it kept continuing to happen. Mm -hmm. And and what I figured out at that time, like, that was a sign for me that, you know, <laughs> even though I kept saying, you know, kept telling this person, okay, you're making me feel A, B, C, E, F, and G. Mm -hmm. It's like, it's going, it's going again, out of one ear, coming out, out of the other, and I kept the chance to do that because I really loved that person at the time. Yeah. yeah. Okay? And so, I finally realized that because this person was downing me, I remember one day when I was, I was in the, when I was in Tampa visiting this person who I was dating mm -hmm. and um no and they were I was watching something on YouTube. I was actually watching watching um it's Rock's YouTube channel. I don't know if you know who she is. But anyway What's her um, name? I was watching her I was watching um this lady named It's Rock. Oh, I she never heard of her and stuff. Okay. And so I watched her video and stuff, and I was laughing about something she said that was really, really funny. And then when I was done watching the video, I went back upstairs, and then, and they were like, you know, oh, I can hear you laugh all the way downstairs, and you know, um, you can take the time to look up those videos, but you can't take the time to, to you know, you know, um, 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 to, to look up. I'm trying to remember exactly what it was. It, it has something to do with, as, 
would mean with education or something like that, mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. spelling or something. I don't even remember, but it was something. It was something to tear me down. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. And and then and then like. It, the cycle kept continuing to happen and happen and happen and happen. And I finally flew back home and I had to let the relationship go. Because mm-hmm. there's only so many times that you can tell the person that, hey, you're doing this to me and I don't like it. Right. Mm-hmm. And I gave this person multiple chances. Well, so, you that? know, so you the point it. here is this, is that you can keep saying, like, um, you know, whoever you're with, if they're doing something to you, like, hey, I don't like this, I don't like this, I don't, and, if, and if it continues to happen, and you're telling them for, like, the millionth time, like, I don't like what you're doing, uh-huh. and you and you can't, and, and, you, and if you have to constantly keep telling them this, mm-hmm. then that's a sign that you need to leave that relationship. Right. I'm, I'm just, that's just how I feel about it, because it's just, you know, you don't have, if that person, like, yeah. whoever was, who, I don't know, was Samantha or with you or whoever else is in, is in the bathroom with you. Um, oh, that's um, my cousin. My said. cousin, Tiffany. Oh, you're, well, your cousin. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so your cousin. Uh-huh. Um. Oh, my God, I lost my track of thought. Mark, Mark, you, just about found, to say. Mark you just found your word. And like I said, uh-huh. you, you just found your worth. That's all it was. You just realized yeah, that yeah, you are yeah, exactly, more. You exactly, just realized yeah. that you and were more than what you thought that that person could be. And that person was selfish. Yeah. That person was selfish. That person didn't give a damn about nobody but their self. And you found your worth. Congratulations that you left that person alone. Yeah. Because and that's you know the fact say, of, keep doing okay. what you're doing. Are you happy now? I am very happy. Okay, you know I mean? and I'm, that's I'm all. Happy. And that's I'm, all I mean, that I'm matters. I'm happy being single. Mm-hmm. I'm happy being single right now. I mean, I'm. I'll, if I get into a relationship, I'll get into one. Like that's I'm not out there trying to look for a relationship at this very moment. But if, yep. if that right person comes along the way, then I'll pursue it. When I mean, I'm not going to be out there right now trying to. You know, I, it, it is my goal to you know find a relationship. Mm-hmm. Well, high five to you, know, you because it happens, that's it, it what it is. Naturally. Yep. Right. It gotta happen well, naturally. Yeah, it gotta happen naturally. High five to you too, because I'm single. I, like I said, I gave them nine years. I'm single, and I love it, but I don't love it. But cause because I want somebody, I want somebody, somebody. somebody. I, want well. somebody I want somebody to love. But at the same token, as Samantha said. I want God to shape and mold me for that next one. Uh-huh. So when that next one come, I will know how to treat that next one better and wiser than what I have did with the other one. Mm-hmm. And I know what yep. to look for and what not to look for. And then I can love that person better and he can love me the way I want to. So by you leaving that relationship was the best thing. And yep. even though you want, you're want, you single, be single and be confident in it and be proud in it. Because it ain't nothing oh, wrong I'm with being, proud. I'm just saying, it ain't nothing wrong with being single. Yep. It's okay loving yourself. I love giving myself a bubble bath. I love going to the movies by mm-hmm. myself. I love sitting at the house and ain't got to argue with nobody or feel like I'm on eggshells <laughs> if I say something and this nigga going to get mad. I love it. Right. I love well, it. Yeah. I'm not, I love it. I and then it give me more time to deal with my kids. Mm-hmm. But because your kids see you hurting and your kids see you going through that, your kids uh-huh. get bitter. And you don't want your kids to get Amen. bitter towards that person because it causes a problem. Right. I got boys. Exactly. I got boys. So enjoy being yep. single. If you live in Omaha oh, I, area. Well, I'm good. No, he I'm, in, I'm good. He like, I, mean, I'm, 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 I love being single. I, I got no problem with this. Shoot, look, <laughs> Tommy will tell you. I travel mm-hmm. all around the world. Yep, yep, yep. You know what I mean? I got the freedom to, 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 to travel. I'm, a, I'm going to London in November. I'm going to Germany to visit my mom's side of the family. From and you there. make sure you post a video I'm, so I, we can I'm follow your travels. Grid. I got, I got <laughs> a whole bunch of trips coming up. Yeah, yeah. I'm, look, I'm looking forward to your videos, too. 
I got a whole bunch of truth coming up. Huh. That's the best thing about being single. Uh-huh. And for, for me, per se, to not to have, like, any responsibilities, because I get to do these things. You get to do whatever you want and without somebody like, holding you I back. I do whatever I want to do. Right. But we also uh-huh. want somebody to do it with us now. That's another thing. But we, we gotta be doing it the with right the right person. person. <laughs> the right person. And... But my thing was, I want to say about is like when I was talking about how when you, well, when people in general get in a relationship and how they take you to their family, you meet family, and then if it don't work with y'all, you still be friends or you get a connection to them, like you know, like you you care about them or whatever, you don't want to let it go, but you also feel some type of way when you go around, so it makes you act the way that you don't want to act because you want to hold up a certain kind of way to make people think, you know, you worry too much about other, what other people think. Right, right. You know, but one thing yeah, I say is, I after breakups or whatever, you, if you genuinely, genuinely wants to still be involved with people, family or whatever, make sure make it, make sure that that's known, but also if you run across the exes, what they run across you, be respectful towards them as as they, you know, you want them to be to you, mm-hmm. but all yeah. in the same. My whole thing is, is like when people hook up or whatever, and it could lead to a marriage. Even if it don't, if it does lead to a breakup, and you still go around, just you know, show be the respect, show respect towards yeah. them as the, that your ex as you would want them to show towards you. Yeah. And then at the same token, and at the same token, you like you said, you free. I'm free too. Even though I got kids, I'm free. Me and my kids travel. Me and my kids doing everything, you know. And I felt like that I was um, bound to this person because this person helps me because of whatever I'm going through at the time. But when you got kids, mm-hmm. that's when you really have to step up your boundaries. Mm-hmm. As a oh, single yeah. woman, when you're I a agree. single woman, you really got to step up your boundary. Mm-hmm. And I thank my cousin Tanya because I, my, my kids got in hand. I called Tanya. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I called Tanya. I'm, I'm not, I called her today. Look, I, I called Tanya. I don't call daddy. I call Tanya, you know, because at the mm-hmm. simple talking, I'm a single woman. And I don't want my kids <laughs> to feel like it's okay to mistreat anybody. Right. Yep. And yeah. then I don't want them to right. see me being yep. mistreated either because I can't tell them not to do something, but then at the same token, I'm mm-hmm. taking the same or right. you right. that I'm telling them not to do. Yep. So therefore, I am now that is single, <laughs> loving to be single, loving myself. Loving my kids was something I never stopped doing. Loving my kids, and I'm enjoying it. And after a while, I'm taking that ride. I'ma ride it to the fullest. I don't care and if God I have to be. I don't care person. if I have to be single all my life, but I'ma enjoy that ride mm-hmm. until I can enjoy my peace, my comfort, my love, my compassion towards myself. Yep. I yeah. lost yeah. I lost my self worth within that nine years. I lost who my mm-hmm. granny told me who I was in that nine years. Mm-hmm. So I had mm-hmm. to look back and say, my granny didn't raise no damn fool. She didn't raise <laughs> me to sit back. If she you knew my didn't. granny, she didn't raise me to sit back and depend on no man to take care of me. I'ma let God take care of what I gotta do, and I'ma sit back and enjoy that ride. And at that same token, I wish him the best. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. If somebody you know, they tell you they don't want you Some, or summed it all up. Yep. Yeah, that's true. So Mark, what kind of what, what kind of person are you interested in? Not like I'm trying to play matchmaker. I'm just asking. I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm asking you seem like you would like a sophisticated, really smart, intelligent person. Um, cause I know you smart, yeah. Mark. I can just tell you're you're really smart just by watching your videos. And... I'm from the hood too. Now, I know you so are. We all from the hood, but you know what I always say. I'm from Deuce Fall. Show right. My cousin up here lying, talking about she ain't from the hood. Girl, bye. Okay, go side. ahead, Mark. I'm from Hello. Yeah, I'm smart, educated. Uh huh. Um, a little rough around the edges. Mm hmm. 
Just, just the edges. I'm just playing. <laughs> she, Samantha said, not. just the edges. I'm uh-huh. messing with you, Mark. I'm with you. I'm the same way. I like them to be smart and intelligent, but I'm sorry. I like my, my men to have an edge. Okay. Like, I like them to be a little bit but street God, or God. have a little street. You know, from a little street knowledge. Because probably because I'm from the street, so that that might have something to do with it. And I'm and, from the street, right? And people who ain't from the street, when they get somebody from the street, they sometimes seem to be a little more judgmental. You know what I mean? Tanya. Oh yeah, I I've, I've had friends like that who oh, I had okay. to put off. Hey, cause let me call you right because back. Because them and I had nothing in common. Mm-hmm. They don't know nothing about that life. Mm-hmm. They all grew up in like in the suburbs and and you know in gated communities. Mm-hmm. They were all sheltered. They mommy and daddy took care of them. Mm-hmm. I, no, I would not date nobody like that. I don't date preppy people. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm the same way. I'm the look, same way. I, I don't know. I don't know. Blue rugged, who like to get their hands a little dirty, adventurous. Mm-hmm. Who like to explore? That's yeah, kind of what I'm into. Uh, it's not really into yeah, it. like to travel. Oh, okay. Yeah. Which I yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of more like my type. What? Well, you know what? You might end up meeting somebody Ooh. over and beyond. On your on your um scenic routes. On my scenic routes. You might. I never thought I would. I never right. thought I would like be called in to have this conversation. I know. <laughs> yeah. I know. But it's a lot of a lot of the stuff that you guys are talking about kind of really gets home with me. Like, mm-hmm. dang, they talking about some stuff that like for real, like for real, for real, like yeah. it's home. Yeah. And it does it hit home for girls and guys. And let me call in, you know? And I'm glad you call in. I love when guys call in and give us their perspective, give us their point of view. Because a lot of times people just think, you know, when it's ladies on a channel, they just talk about lady stuff. And we always say vice versa. You can, um, the guys, they, guys go through the same thing women go through. It's just that guys don't sometimes talk about it, you know? Yeah, because, so, you know, I was just having a conversation with my friend Andy, who lives in Chicago, actually. Uh-huh. Um, we were just talking about this, like, how men um, 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 uh, are, are, you know, are trained to not to express their emotions. Mm-hmm. How men are, like, not, you know, are, you know, has this mindset that we're not supposed to talk about our feelings or our emotions, and that we got to keep it in mm-hmm. and suck it up. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I'm raising two young men, 15 and 10. I let them know it's okay to cry. They have lost a they had lost a sister yeah. and a brother within two months of each other. I let them know that it's mm-hmm. okay to cry. I let them know it's okay to share your yeah. feelings. I let them know that it's okay to come talk to me about anything and everything because mm-hmm. it starts at home. Mm-hmm. It starts at home. It's okay for a man to cry. It's okay for it a man is. to tell you how they feel. Mm-hmm. The man is just like a woman. God created man first. Then he gave uh-huh. y'all a helpmate, which is us women. Mm-hmm. And it's mm-hmm. okay for a man to say what they feel because if they don't say what they feel then they're going to be trapping prisoners inside their feelings and yep. emotion and it causes them to be animals that they don't want to be right so yeah. you got to let your p- child know that it's okay to show your feelings but you can't show your feelings yep. to each and everybody that knows you right you got to learn your boundaries and you got to know who to stand up to you and can't who not open to. up to everybody you can't let everybody know like i tell my kids don't let nobody everybody know where you stay at you gotta let your stuff be private mm-hmm. so at the same time yep, you I have to agree. you have to give you us as parents got to get on men's a choice and let them know it's okay because if you don't let them know that it's okay then that's when it's a problem where they go to be with a woman they don't know how to tell that woman how they feel right they don't know how to tell that right. woman um when that woman is hurt they don't know how to sow sympathy to that woman because they will never talk that 
If you yep. don't teach them, they don't know. Yep. So you have to teach yep. your you, child. And I was just, and again, and and I was just having this conversation with my friend because um, I'm going um, to a um, charity event in Chicago. It's a run that because I'm a runner too. And so the for a charity event for suicide um, awareness. Oh, okay. And so, but I had a friend of mine. This was in high school. It was my freshman year. Tanya knows the story. Yeah. This, because a, a situation happened on YouTube with a with a YouTuber who thought suicide was something to joke about, but that's a whole different story. Right. Um. But anyway, um. 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 I had a friend of mine who he was bullied in school because he was in. He was like he wore like a he wore a mohawk and uh, a mohawk um, hairstyle, and he was like this rocker goth guy that dressed in like dark clothes and mm -hmm. things like that, like Marilyn Manson kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's what he was like into, and um, and the kids in our school they were bullying him, and I didn't know that until. He killed himself, and then people who we knew said that he was being bullied, and I got upset by it, and I cussed him out. I was like, why didn't y'all do anything? Mm -hmm. Like, or why didn't you guys tell me? And so, you know, and the whole point to this is, is that we were talking about this because I was explaining to him, like, my friend, his name was Derek Derek Grady, and again, we went to high school together, and that's how this whole conversation came up about men and their feelings, mm -hmm. and we were just talking about this yesterday, my friend Andy, who lives in Chicago, who's also going to be part of the run, too, but um, yeah, we, were, we had a really great dialogue about that, too, like men are worth, has, and always been taught, you gotta, you gotta, like, you know, man up not express your feelings right. and stuff like that but no that's and that's not the case like it's okay to cry mm -hmm. like it took me years because i went through some stuff as a child growing up like you know and like i i finally was able to release that because i cried about it and you know and i got around people who who said to me it's okay to feel this way yeah it's all right that you can let these emotions out, you know, because I was, you know, I had like this, like this tough Chicago persona, like, you know, I got to be this tough guy to, you know, be able to, you know, get my point across or for, for people to respect me, mm -hmm. right. you know, and once I got around other people, they, they said, it's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to, um, you know, to share your feelings. It's okay to be vulnerable. Yeah. You know, and I'm getting a little bit emotional as I'm talking about this, but take your um, time. Take your time. Whew. Um, but um, yeah. I mean, I got to run a whole different group of people who said it's okay. Even my mom was like <laughs> telling me like it's okay. Yeah. Even my own mother was telling me, like, it's okay to be vulnerable and stuff like that. Because I had a dad who wasn't about shit. Yeah. And I don't fuck a with A lot of us have. A lot of us have one of those. I do not talk to my dad because of how he did me and what he put me, me and my mom and my sister through. I don't talk to my dad. And, and so with dealing with him, I was taught in my mind, like, okay, I can't. This is how men are supposed to be. It's supposed to keep their feelings in. You can't express how you feel. And I, I, I was a mess. Like, even through my high school, I was cussing everybody out, calling all kind of MF and, and kiss my ass. And I was all over the place. Like, you know, because I was dealing with so much, like, with poverty and, and the things that my, my dad and my was doing and my mother you know was going through things and you know and I was it, it just all piled up and then when the suicide thing happened with my friend that added even deeper scars you know cause he was he was my best friend yeah 
and and I was, and we and we told each other everything and it and I was I Tanya I was on Sweet Moms for Life um, call I think when that whole moan to moan situation happened uh-huh. and I was calling her and I was telling her in the chat I was like for 20 years like I felt guilty so because you know. I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't know what was going on yeah. or nothing. I could have done something to talking? stop it. And so, you know, if I would have known what was going on, and then what added more um, insult to injury, like these people came to his funeral, uh-huh. they had the nerve to show up after knowing what they did. They had the nerve to show up, and I had to tell his mother. These are your kids. This is your these. This is your, um your kids' murder. Uh huh. There's a reason why your kids are dead because they were bullying your your child. Wow. And their mother um had a fit. She got her family. I think her brothers and her cousins mm-hmm. and stuff and I to kick all their asses out. Of, of of the of the church because they were Roman Catholic. Okay. Yeah. So you know, but 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 to lead back to what I was saying, like if if I would have known, you know, that was going on, I would have tried to you know um, help them the best way as possible because even though I was going through what I was going through, mm-hmm. I was learning how to be vulnerable. And how to be able to communicate and to share my feelings right. about how I'm feeling, okay? Mm-hmm. And I could have helped him if he would have if he would have talked mm-hmm. or said something to me. And I lived with that guilt for almost twenty years. But now I can now I now know probably what he was feeling because of this topic tonight that yeah. we're having. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep, and and the thing about it is, um, a lot of times when people go through things like that and they end up taking their own life, we do feel guilty, and we do feel like there should have been something that we saw or something that we noticed or, you know, it, it should have been some yeah, signs and there, it, and then we feel yeah, guilt. And, yeah, and this leads back to, you know, the topic of Sam, what we were just talking about, I need men and their feelings. That you know, that for ages that and years we were called. No, we can't. We can't express how we feel. No, every person should have a right to express how they feel, regardless of who you are. We about to go in. I'm sorry, Mark. We about to. Uh, we trying to load, load up everything. It's about to go into yeah, the house. Yeah, it's lightning. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's the winds the picking up, child. Well, you want to be chair, Samantha? Child. Yeah, you don't. Yeah, don't play with the lightning. Oh, I'm here. not, and I have to Where drive home chairs? too. So. Huh? Right. They, they said it wasn't going to start till like one o'clock. Hey, I just want you to know this. This know one goes your, in Tiffany talking, Mark. Know your worth. Okay. Stand on your worth. Yeah. Know your worth. Stand on your worth. Do what you have to do to mm-hmm. make you happy. It ain't about everybody mm-hmm. else because you only give one life. Amen. And right. I had to realize that. You're going to have to realize that and other people too. Stand on your worth. Know what you want. Demand what you want. If you want somebody to be in your life, set your standards. If they don't meet your standards, okay, let it be. Do but sense. then sometimes God got another standard for you that you don't think that mm-hmm. it's supposed to be your standards. Mm-hmm. You might think your mm-hmm. standards is this dark chocolate woman, this dark chocolate lady, or this person, but God probably say, okay, here go this Mexican. You know what I mean? You just got to let God show you and stand on your worth and stand on your standards. And I wish you the best. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, Thank you. Too. Mark's a good guy. He's a good person. So yeah, I know fine, you yeah. are going to find somebody fantabulous. If you was in yep. Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> ah, quit hitting on my friend. Quit, she, she talking about if you was from Omaha, Nebraska. <laughs> quit hitting on my friend. <laughs> uh-uh. 
too much. Oh, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. Uh, Brother J say, Brother J say, do Jesus. Do Jesus. <laughs> oh, but yeah, I can't wait till we hook up, though. We need to hook up real soon, Mark. Yes, we got to. We got to. Yeah, you're soon. going to we London. To you're going to London and all these places. Yeah, well, well, you know, yeah, I mean, I, I mean, uh-huh. hey. So, man, you know, you, a white woman know. from Germany married a black man from Chicago. Oh, this is how I it. turned out. I don't want to okay. I don't want to have to contain it. <laughs> oh, no, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Also, a black man from Chicago married a white woman from Germany. So, that's right. <laughs> All right, cousin. Love you, Dry Safe. Girl. <laughs> Okay, everybody, we're we about to wrap this up because I don't want to get caught in this storm. It stormed so bad last night and this Thank morning, I was like, Lord right. Jesus. Oh, they got a chance to see. <laughs> but t- tonight, um, tonight is supposed to, uh, they said it's going to be strong winds, yeah. storms, hail, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, but we're going to, yeah, so definitely we're going to hook up soon. I haven't yes. forgotten about the. The, the, the Google um, Hangouts or anything. Yes, like, please, so gonna... because you got to invite me. I know. I will. I will. I'm, I'm, just, I'm, I'm talking to the older people about doing this video, and I just kind of want to get that done first, and then we'll do that. Okay, okay. Mm-hmm. That's what's up. Okay. Yeah, let me know. Give All me right, a heads well, up. Your... I'm down. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. Well, tell your cousin, well, is she still there? Did she leave? I, yeah, I think she walked out. Yep. Okay. Okay, well, you know, I, that was beautiful advice that she gave <laughs> yeah. for flirting with me. But. Yeah, she's really, she's really sweet. She's really sweet. She was like, ooh, he got a nice voice. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> He's the I'm like, look at y'all trying to see. I said, I said I wasn't trying to be no matchmaker now. I said, I, I, hey, hey. <laughs> But she you know would, what? She don't want to be on there, though. You know, yeah, and then she they the whole do time. I don't want to do be it. on camera. I don't want to be on camera. Like she, it ain't like she <laughs> ugly or nothing. She ain't they ugly or nothing. Do. She okay. does. She just okay. did. She just don't like to be. I on got camera. a summer cold going on. I'm gonna have to fix that. <laughs> but yeah, so yeah, but I'm gonna head home. I'm only about what ten All minutes. Right. I'm only like ten minutes away from yeah. Samantha. So okay. All but right. yeah. Well, you get home safely here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for okay. calling us. And thank you for calling in. I'm like, man, I know Mark. He show up to the live. He gonna call in and give us some, uh, tea. he gonna give us some tea or some 411 or some advice or some something good yeah, towards was, the topic. I, kept it, I wanted to keep it about the topic. Yeah. 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 Oh, we go off topic. It's cool. Yeah, we always you know. find our way back. Hey, this is the hood table. Okay. This is the hood table. Anything hey. goes. Hey, anything goes. <laughs> it's, the hood, it's, the hood, it's the hood table version of the red of table. Of the red but, table, exactly. Okay, that, Jada ain't got nothing on us. <laughs> I know I love Jada. I love Jada. I love the red table. I love Jada. But I, yeah. have, I have yet oh, to God, but... watch that, but I'm I'm a, I'm gonna catch me a couple of them and see what's up. Yeah, it comes on every Monday. I ain't know nothing about it when yep. I thought about it. It's on fa- it's on Facebook. Like, Just look up the red table on Facebook. Yep. Look up on Facebook. Yep. Yeah. Okay, ladies, I will let you guys go. I don't want you guys to die or anything oh <laughs> uh, trust me when i get home i'm parking that truck in the garage because i just had some body work done on my ride oh, so yeah, um yeah. i'm not trying and to get no hell and guess what it's 49 degrees here in wisconsin what 49, it's 49 degrees? degrees like it's 49 oh. degrees here right now and it's cold and we're in oh hoodies. my god oh my god and see that's the thing about it you know how the midwest is it could be 95 one second and you already know what that means around this time of the year it's like you might be in your basement because that's tornado weather when it goes yeah, from 95 tornado, and yeah. turns cold real quick it's, yeah it's, yeah it's, it's gonna be like maybe 39 degrees here tonight it's Mm-mm. Well, you stay warm up like there. I said, I'm two, like I said, I'm two hours north of Chicago. So. Uh huh. Oh, okay. Oh, hey. Yep, he's right by Chicago. Yes, yep. what's up? Well, all right, Mark Hunt. Thank you for calling in tonight. All Thank right, you for ladies. tuning in. No problem. And I'll holla at you later. All right. All right. I'll holla at you later. I'll holla. Bye. All right. Bye. 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 Bye.
Thank you, man. Yeah, but we're gonna um we're gonna wrap this up, y'all, because it's about to storm. And and if it starts storming and thundering and lightning, we might lose, you know, reception anyway. So I'm gonna get head out of here. I'm at Sammy's house, my homegirl, my sister, my friend. And I'm gonna wrap it up and pack up and bounce home. And I might come to y'all live from uh, Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews, my other channel, my main channel. Oh, yeah. And holler at y'all from over there. It depends. It depends. I might go home and just chillax and watch all of y'all because there's a lot of people going live tonight. So I might just end up doing that, just watching a lot of y'all videos. But anyway, y'all, y'all know how we do. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, thank you guys for all your comments, the phone calls, um, supporting our channel. It's a fairly new channel, so we're, you know, we're, we're growing from the bottom up. So please make sure you share our channel. Make sure you, uh, if you are not already subscribed, subscribe to our channel. And also, my main channel, for those of y'all who don't know, this channel is a collaboration channel with me and Samantha and any guests that we happen to bring on. But um, tonight it was my cousin Tiffany. She happened to join us tonight, you know, as one of our guests. But um, it's a collaboration channel for Samantha and I. Now I do have another channel. It's getting dark. I hope y'all still can see me okay. And her light is out on her patio. We was trying to fix it, but but it wasn't working. But um, we're going to get that fixed for in the future because we're going to do a lot of patio lives, you know, this summer. But um, let me put the link in for my other channel, which is uh, Tanya's Primetime TV. That is my main channel. So this channel that you're watching right now is kind of like a sister channel of Tanya's Primetime TV media reviews. So let me go ahead and put that in here. Put that in here and say my other YouTube channel link is here. Okay. All right. I just put the link in. So everybody who's watching this channel, feel free to click the link that I just put in. It's for my Tanya's Primetime TV Media Reviews channel. And head over there and hit the um, notification bell after you subscribe. Hit the notification bell. That way you can get notified when I'm going live over there. And on this channel, make sure you hit subscribe and hit the notification bell so you can know when we go live over here. Because we usually go live on this channel, The Hood Table, at least once a week. Usually on a Friday night. On Tanya's Primetime TV, I usually go live almost every day. <laughs> so make sure you hit me up on that channel as well, you guys. And in the meantime and in between time, stay safe, be blessed, and I'm out. Deuces. <laughs> you guys have a wonderful evening. Wonderful evening. God bless you. Bye-bye.